Hello everyone. My name is Dr. Divan and the topic of the lecture today is systemic mycosis. Now in this lecture, we're going to talk about what systemic mycosis is. But before we talk about, we're going to talk about what mycosis is, what is the etiology of it, what pathogens causes pathology, what are the different modalities of it, what's the pathogenesis of it, what are its further subtypes, and then we're going to talk about in detail about those types and treatments and the diagnostic modalities. First of all, we're going to start with what systemic mycosis is, what are its further subtypes, and among these subtypes, we're going to talk about what further subtypes do we have, and what is endemic mycosis, what is superficial cutaneous infections, what are those opportunistic fungal infections, and what is pheohypho mycosis. Next on, we're going to talk about what are dimorphic fungi first. We're going to talk about endemic mycosis, but before that, we're going to talk about what are dimorphic fungi and how they lead to endemic mycosis. What are these pathogens? We're going to talk about all of these pathogens, how they convert from mold to uh, conidia, from conidia to yeast into our systems. <clears throat> Next on, we're going to talk about the subcategories of it. We're going to talk about sporotrichosis. We're going to talk about paracoxidiodomycosis and penicilliosis. We're going to talk about all of these in detail, starting from sporotrichosis. We're going to talk about the causative organism of sporotrichosis. We're going to talk about what the etiological feature that's in common between all those individuals that get sporotrichosis. We're going to talk about its uh, diagnostic modalities, we're going to talk about treatment options, and afterwards we're going to talk about para coxidiodomycosis. We're going to talk about what's the causative organism. We're going to talk about what's the epidemiology of it, where it's found mostly. And next, I'm going to talk about what's the pathogenesis of it, how it leads to your systems, how it leads to the different pathologies it causes into your body. And then we're going to talk about different diagnostic modalities of it and what's the treatment option for paracoxidididomycosis. Next one, we're going to talk about what penicilliosis is, what, is uh, what causes penicilliosis, how it gets to your system, how it affects only immunocompromised patients, and in immunocompromised patients, where it, when it gets there, why it only affects the reticular endothelial system and not any other system in particular. Then we have pheohyphomycosis. We're going to talk about different types of it. We're going to talk about what mesitoma is. We're going to talk about other types of it. We're going to talk about different uh, clinical manifestations it will present to you with. We're going to talk about what current treatment modalities we have an option for treating uh, pheohyphomycosis. We're going to talk about where we go for surgeries, where we go for surgical extirpation, and where we only go for antifungal drugs. For watching this complete lecture and the variety of lectures which are available at skyle.com, varying from anatomy to physiology to pathology to pharmacology to microbiology, even to medicine and surgery, uh, please subscribe to skyle.com. It contains a free trial for you so that you can get accommodated with the lectures and its uh, regime. So for watching this complete lecture, uh, please subscribe to skyle.com. Thank you for watching.